dog, ziggity boom, what you do to me? Bye, Eric, me lads. You have a little bath. Come on. That's not too hot, is it, Eric? No. I'll just get you a towel, Eric. And then we'll dry it up, kid. Eric. Oh, my Lord, she's going to kill me. What's happened to you? Dearest viewer, tonight we come to the end of our Battersea adventure. Bullseye. I'll be OK. Louis, come on. I'll be back home with me pigs. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> and me lovely sheep. Winnie, come back. Me chickens. Oh, stop that. Me dogs. And them fat arse. Up you go. It's lovely to be home with me menagerie. But what about the dogs of Battersea? <laughs> What'll they do without me? Oh, you're such a lovely girl. I don't know how they walk in these clogs. Frank, this way. I've been Frank, their friend. Come on, wait. Come on. Frank. Yeah, Baba. The therapist. He's a good girl. The partner in crime. Come on, big fella. <laughs> the father figure. Mm. The soulmate. Oh, I love you. Ta-da, pal, man. Now, stop this now, because I'm not crying on telly. Can't a fella have a whinge in peace, do you mind? But there's time to help a few more dogs, so this week... I'm teaching some doggy sign language. I can't get dogs with hearing to sit. <laughs> Catching up with old friend Bourbon and her tiny puppies. Super big belly. <laughs> and saying goodbye. <laughs> Stop that now, you big wash. You don't cry on telly. <laughs> right, you lot, line up, please. I'm going to Battersea. Olga, I catch you with that Alsatian from the village. There's going to be murder. You just behave yourself and you keep off the phone. Ta-da! <laughs> Battersea sees its fair share of puppies in all shapes and sizes. And unsurprisingly, they don't stay here very long. Do I have to leave him? <laughs> <laughs> But a few weeks ago, something happened here which is very rare. A little stray chihuahua, Jack Russell Cross, came in heavily pregnant. Look at the size of that belly. She looks like she's going to explode. The staff named her Bourbon. They didn't know what sort of dog she'd been um, <clears throat> carrying on with, but they did know that there were four pups and it was a real worry. These have got to get out through, through the pelvis here. I know. they never get through there, the birth canal, would they? Head vet Sean performed an emergency C-section and against the odds, Bourbon gave birth to not four, but five live pups. That one's breathing. And since poor little Bourbon wasn't producing milk, I got to help take care of her newborn. So that's very much milk. Now. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good boy. Oh, God, love him. Ooh. Now, folks. The very sad news is that one of the pups passed away after a couple of days. That was very hard for head nurse Rachel, who's been hand rearing three of the pups every two hours, day and night. Whenever you take ham rears, everyone says the chances of survival is slim, but it's still really devastating when you do lose them. But Jammy Dodger here is doing very well. He's the greedy one. Here we go, there's this little paw going. That's when he really gets into it. That's what they would do naturally when they're with the mum. So it helps stimulate all the milk flow. Super big belly. <laughs> and this little one here is shortbread, and we're a bit worried about him. Shortbread's stopped eating, hasn't really been eating properly for the last few days. Um, and he started to get quite cold, very lethargic. Um, and obviously you can see that he is noticeably smaller than the other one. So not sure whether he's going to make it. But at Battersea, no one gives up on a dog in need. So this is just the fluid replacement that we're just trying to syringe to him. You have to be really careful just to make sure that they do actually swallow it. <laughs> you can see he doesn't like it. He's actually licking my hand, so we might see. Pop him back for a second, just put some milk in the bottle and see if he wants to have some milk. 
If Shortbread takes it, it'll be the first time in three days. He's eaten. <laughs> Fingers crossed, he might make it. And what about Mum Bourbon? How's she getting on? Vetner Charlotte is looking after her and the other two pups out in the Kent countryside. Nice. Bourbon lost a third of her body weight when she gave birth. She could barely walk, let alone run around like this. She's doing very well, a very good mum, very attentive. She's now producing enough milk for these two pups, custard cream and the tiny runt mini cheddar. She seems to be doing amazing against all odds. It's still touch and go for all these puppies, but hopefully in a few weeks, we'll be finding them new homes. You know that saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Well, here at Battersea, we say codswallop because we're about to do just that. Meet Rizzler. He's a Samoyed cross, and he should have a long white coat, but he's been given a summer trim. Look, I know he looks like an overgrown puppy, but he's actually 12, which is 84 in dog years. And there's one more important fact about Rizzler, he's deaf. Rizzler, hello Rizzler, aren't you lovely? Is this common in dogs, in white dogs? Because it, you get white Dalmatians, yeah. don't you, a deaf? It doesn't seem to have been sort of fully proven, but it seems a lot more common in white dogs. Helen's one of Battersea's behavioural experts, and today we're going to teach this old dog some new commands. So how do you communicate with him? We actually use sign language. I can do that. So it's not... And um, he, I don't think he knows that one. That's what? drunk on whiskey. <laughs> I think if he lived with me, he'd get to know it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we better start with the basics. First, we decide on a sign for good dog. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So, I mean, for sit, it's the, sim it's the same thing we do for other dogs. It's yeah. that kind of it's sit that. down. Because yeah. the nose goes up, the yeah. bum goes down. Yeah. Do you want to see if you can get him to do his sits? Sit. Sit. No, I'm having any luck, am I? More like putting it right in and then, and then lifting it up. I can't get things. dogs with hearing to sit, let alone. <laughs> sit, no, let's lie down. Sit. Ah, he's a good boy. So very soon he'll learn when he gets his treat that that means good boy. Good boy. Yeah. To teach the um, down, if you can get him in the sit first and then show him the treat, and then we take the treat sort of down like that. He's like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know I am. I know, I'm, I know good. I'm a good boy. You don't have to clap there. <laughs> Somebody throw you a fish in the end. <laughs> I think Rizzler's done very well for his first lesson. He definitely deserves a little run around. There's just one problem. How do we call him back? <laughs> oh, man, are doing that. <laughs> See, this would be me in the park. <laughs> as lovely as Rizzler is, he's not going to be easy to rehome. But somewhere out there, there's a family waiting for him. We've just got to find them. Yes, there's a home for you too. And you. Now, to find out how those pups are getting on, head vet Sean's got an update for me. Hi, Hi Sean. Hiya, how are you? All right, thanks. How's things? Yeah, they're OK. We've got some slightly sad news, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Brace yourself, yeah. Not the runs. Yeah. No. He passed away last night. Really sad. It stinks. Yeah. I don't know how you do it, Sean, here, honestly. Yeah, it goes with the territory. Well, you have good days in here, don't yeah, you? you? Yeah, do. you have enough good days. To yeah, balance out exactly, the bad days. Yeah. Mini Cheddar was so tiny, Sean never expected her to make it. But it's still a shame. Now Bourbon's only got one puppy to feed, Sean's decided that it would be good for the other two to get some of Mum's milk. So today will be the first time Bourbon's had any contact with them since they were born. I'm quite 
anxious today really. I mean there's been a lot to talk about reintroducing them and the ifs and the buts and the what ifs. Um, we don't know how she's going to react to this scenario. No wonder Charlotte's worried. If Bourbon's confused by the arrival of two new puppies, she might hurt or even kill them. We're so worried about her stress levels. If she starts to feel panicked, then she might act a bit more aggressively. So, fingers crossed it'll go well. To keep the stress on Bourbon at a minimum, we've set up cameras in the room so there are no strangers with her. First, Charlotte's letting Bourbon have a look and a smell while the pups are still safe in their carrier. Good girl. Good girl, what's that, hey? And the next thing is to let her have a proper sniff. Bourbon, this is shortbread. Good girl. Good girl. She seems okay. Time to meet the little fatty, Jammy Dodger. Are these your babies? Are these your babies? She's accepted them straight away. Okay. And look, she's already letting them feed. And this is the first time that Custard Cream seen her brothers since the day she was born. I feel proud and relieved, I think, really, because it's so unsure of how it would go, but I think she's on the main. Typical jammy dodger, gorging on mother's milk. <laughs> and now he's at his mother's food. Oh, he's a glutton, that one. Um, two out of three are feeding, so that's pretty good. And Bourbon's actually fallen asleep while sitting out, so she can't be too unhappy. Oh, I love a good reunite. That's made my day. And I can't wait to see them all grow up. I've spent the last few weeks watching people fall in love with all sorts of different dogs. <laughs> Come on, say, say goodbye. Old dogs. <laughs> Fat dogs. You're unbelievable. Shy dogs. And so I just know someone's going to fall in love with an old deaf dog who looks like Rupert the Bear. But all the same, I think he needs some positive advertising. So it's time to call in a favour. Yep, Rizzler's going on the telly. I mean, I know he's on telly now, but this is the first time he went on telly and... And we filmed him going on telly, and now we're going to pull it on the... T oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> How old is he? He's 12 years old. Is he? Yeah, he doesn't look like a baby. look like a baby. <laughs> Aww. Well, look at you, Rizzler, making time with the celebs. He's going on a new slot on this morning to help rescue pets find new homes. <gasps> hey, guess what, guys? Rizzler's on the telly. Come and say, come and say. Here's Rizzler. Come and have a look. Look. Here's Rizzle on the telly. Are we ready, folks? You first move on uh, to Rizzler. Oh, Rizzler. And Rizzler is totally deaf. Do you think Rizzler's going to get a home out of this? What do you reckon? I think he will. I hope so. Love Thank you. Can you Thank help you. with Rizzler? Fingers crossed, eh, anyway. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to watch Doctors. Thank you very much. Just your favourite programme, isn't it? And guess what? Advertising works. A week after Rizzler's five minutes of fame, a couple have driven four hours from Somerset to come and meet him. Well, we've had a, a deaf and blind Rottweiler for five years. And when I saw him on the programme, I knew that we would be able to communicate with him because, you know, we've been used to it. And he's getting on and we're getting on. And we thought we'd be companions for each other. <laughs> But, you know, everyone looks different on telly. I mean, I'm only four foot six in real life, so I do hope Gene and Dennis like him. If he comes, here he comes. Hello. 
He is beautiful, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Now, this seems to me like a match made in heaven. Surely they can't drive all this way and then go back empty-handed. Would love to have him. Yeah? And do you guys need to confer first? No. Uh, I think you've got a new dog, Dennis. Bye then, Rizzler. Rizzler! Oh, I forgot you can't hear me. You know, it's been sickening watching all these people skip out of the door with the new dog. I want one too, but I'm away from home too much at the moment and it wouldn't be fair. So every time I'm here, the Battersea staff and my probation officer, Joan, have to make sure I leave empty-handed. How is he with pigs? That's Joan. He doesn't to know about. <laughs> no, I can't. can't. <laughs> but today's my last day at Battersea and everyone can relax. I'm a bit sad, though, to be honest. I'm going to miss all those dogs. Hang on, what's going on here? Oh, my God, what's this lot here? What's this? <laughs> I smell a rat here. This is embarrassing. <laughs> this is Battersea's chief exec, Claire. Come and talk to us, come on. Come and do it. And this is the guard of honour that they do for special visitors. <laughs> You have to go round like the Queen now. Go on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, darling. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh. Yes, you are. Hello, Candy. Hello. <laughs> Ross. Are you looking for the new dad, are you? Look at that face. Right, so moving on quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I've got over the shock. This is lovely. Everyone's here. Even Frank, the clever staffy I went to Crufts yeah, with. Frank, yes. Uh, Frank has got a very important question to ask you. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't speak staffy. What did he say? We would be delighted if you would do us the honour of becoming a Battersea ambassador. No, really? Yes. I could think of nothing nicer. I'm not. <laughs> When do I start? <laughs> Fantastic. As ambassador, I get to come here whenever I want and promote Battersea and rescue dogs to the world. It's the best job ever. We have one thing that we would like to give you. Come with me. On behalf of everyone and all our animals, thank you. Of course, it's boss there. Oh, don't. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, God. <laughs> Go. Do you know what? I've held out in here. I've seen abused dogs and all sorts and fell in love with dogs and I've held it together and I thought, I ain't crying on the telly. <laughs> this is filling me off. It's your boy. <laughs> it really has me, um, well, me familiar, me boss. Uh, thank you so much. I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Buster was my dog who died nearly three years ago. He lives on in Battersea and he's the spirit of Battersea Buster because he was dumped. And it's just lovely that he's here, it really is. <laughs> now, even though I'm going to be sticking around here at Battersea, we're still coming to the end of the series. But I think before we say our farewells, You'd like to know what happened to Bourbon and her puppies, wouldn't you? Oh, my I think, Lord. I think you're going to be in for a shot. Oh, look at these. Oh, police. How look at you. How big look were these the last you. time you saw them? They were tiny. The pups are now six weeks old and already nearly as big as their mum. Here's shortbread, jammy dodger and custard cream. Sparky. There's nothing nicer. Than the smell of a puppy. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Honestly. <laughs> Listen to him, tough. I'm in here looking for homes then. Yeah, well, a couple of the pups have got homes already, um, and the other one's still looking for one, but. Which uh, one's looking for a home? Out. Little this, one. This one here. But unbelievably. <laughs> Let's have but a look. It's not going to take very long, is it? When I first got Buster, he was no bigger than this. I just want to show this one to somebody. I'll be back in a minute. Where's he off to now? <laughs> you need him on a lead. <laughs> he doesn't. 
I'm just having a word with my probation officer, Joan. Won't get much bigger. I think Joan has to come. <laughs> oh, sweetie. <laughs> what can I say? I'm an ambassador now, you see, so I can't just walk out empty-handed. It wouldn't look good, would it? I've got a horrible feeling we've got to the last day of recording and... <laughs> we're adopting. Yeah, I'll have shortbread, yeah. Meet the new member of the O'Grady family, shortbread. Yeah. There are so many dogs here I could have taken home with me, not least my true love, Carmine. But the difference is, my dogs will accept this little one and I can take him everywhere with me. So we will do the rounds, theatres, telly studios, radio. He'll have a lovely life. <laughs> as for the rest of the family, they've all got homes to go to as well. You are beautiful. Custard Cream's going to live with Sarah in Bedfordshire. Is there children in the house? Yes, we've got two boys. They are going to be potty <laughs> in our paws. <laughs> the third pup, Jammy Dodger, has gone to join a family in Enfield, North London. <laughs> So, girls, come on, how much do you love him? They keep him occupied, he keeps them occupied, and he likes cuddles with me as well. <laughs> He's a little boy I didn't have. <laughs> and Mum Bourbon? Now her kids have flown the nest, she's moved to Kingston to be doted on by her new owner, Rebecca. Oh, really, really love her. And doesn't she look great? I just feel so much happier having her in my life. Well, I've decided to call my little one Eddie, and I'm off home to introduce him to his extended family. Well, you didn't honestly think I was going to leave empty-handed, did you? Mm -hmm. Come on, darling, we've got things to do. See ya. Oh,